These are some awesome things you can do with proper green screening techniques. Now we here at the broadcasting team will demonstrate some do's and don'ts of green screening so you too can get started with your own awesome films. We'll start with this tutorial. This is our green screen. Now contrary to popular belief, you don't actually need the screen to be green. It just needs to be any solid color, so long as it doesn't clash with the person being filmed, as shown here. Now, notice that we're using the best lighting available. This ensures that our green screen shot is clean and of the highest quality possible. After you're done filming your masterpiece, move them onto a computer that has green screen editing software. We use a program known as Adobe After Effects. This is our shot here loaded into After Effects. Now the first step of the green screening process is to use the pen tool uh, and we're going to draw a garbage mat around our subject. Now a garbage mat is called a garbage mat because it's kind of a quick and dirty uh, mask around our subject. Now first we want to make sure scrub through the entire video and watch that our subject, oh there he does it, uh, never passes through the boundaries of the uh, mask. So we're going to just drag out the edges of our mask using the select tool uh, and we're going to make sure that our subject never leaves those boundaries. Once we're sure that we can be safe, uh, we can head on over to uh, using the key light function. We're going to go to the effects and presets menu and just type in key light. Um, and we're going to drag the key light on over to our mask. Now we have the key light effects menu opened up here on the left. Uh, you can see various controls. We're going to use the dropper tool to remove the green of the green screen. And so now you can see that our subject indeed does have uh, no more background. And you can just move him around however you see fit. We can resize him. We can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave him at the bottom of the screen right there. Now we're going to go back to our project menu and we're going to drag in a stone wall background so that we can really see the effect of the green screen. Now you can see those lines appear around our subject, those green lines, and those are just left over from the green screen. That's what we want to get rid of. So we're going to go over to our effects controls back and uh, we're just going to go to the screen mat. Now the screen mat is where we're going to make sure we can get the most out of our green screen. Uh, we're going to try and make the black black as possible and the white white as possible. And to do that, we're going to twirl down the screen mat uh, menu and we're going to play with the clip black and clip white functions. We're going to you know, add up the clip black here and just adjust it so that as much of the black is black. And we're going to lower the clip white so that as much of the white is pure white. We don't want to go overboard because that could seriously screw up our green screen. But... Uh, We'll make sure that you know we have some good numbers. Uh, we'll okay. I think those that clip white is fine. So now we're going back to our final result, and as you can see, uh, we now have a fairly well done green screen. And really, that's all there is to it. Uh, just make sure that again, your subject never leaves the ma boundaries of the mask, and you're on well on your way to making an awesome video. And that's there, all there is to it. Now let's go over some pro tips to master your green screening technique. Wear light absorbent clothing. Position your actors so that they take advantage of lighting. Use the best lighting possible. Don't leave a lot of headroom. Make sure not to wear light reflective clothing or clothing similar to your background. Don't tilt the camera. Focus your shot according to the height of your object. Thanks for watching our tutorial on green screening. Now you can go and make your own movie magic.